Hi guys, welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm E. I'm D. And today we're going to talk about, again, somebody we haven't spoken about in a while, yeah. and that is Brother Love. Brother Love, Brother Love. You've been on the hush-hush lately, but guess what? We found an article about you. <laughs> <laughs> so for those who don't know, which I think everybody knows by now, yeah. we know our girl Cassie exposed everything. And then since then is basically an avalanche of rumors, allegations, lawsuits, you know, people coming forward, people closing, you know, cases, getting some money. I'm, Cassie, let us know how much you got, please. <laughs> <laughs> but this particular case, um, there is a, a Jane Doe that says uh, that Sean Diddy Combs basically, you know, along with his buddies, <laughs> did some things. Um, mm -hmm. So that's ongoing. So the title of this article is Sean Diddy Combs Denies gang or APE allegations in new filing as Jane Doe lawyers say that they speak for themselves. So we're going to read the article. Let us know, uh, let you guys know our thoughts. And of course, you guys let us know your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So like you said, it's definitely been quiet on, on that front from him. Mm -hmm. So um, let's see. Um, whew. A Jane Doe accused Combs, along with Harve Pierre, Pierre um, and a third unidentified man of gang rape and trafficking uh, in a December lawsuit. Sean Diddy Combs is alleging claims that he gang raped a 17-year-old girl at his Manhattan recording studio in um, 2003. So he's challenging the claims. In his first official response filed in New York on Tuesday, the music mogul is denying that he and his longtime collaborator, Harve Pierre, along with a third unidentified man, took turns raping a Jane Doe, according to documents obtained by People. And by the way, this is a People article. So, um, so Combs never participated in, witnessed, or was or is presently aware of any misconduct sexual or otherwise, relating to a plaintiff in any circumstance whatsoever, the filing reads. The Last Night rapper, 54, also took issue with the photographs included um, in her complaint, the Jane Doe's, and the timing of the lawsuit. The context, genuineness, and or accuracy of the photographs are disputed, the filing reads. Plaintiff's decision to wait more than two decades to file her complaint has prejudicial or prejudiced Combs, as he has lost the ability to defend himself fully and fairly in this action, adding, for example, some or all evidence that otherwise would have been available if the action had been properly commenced, may be unavailable, lost, or compromised. Um, Combs is seeking for the lawsuit to be barred because the Victims Gender Motivated Violence Act is unconstitutional on its face, both substantively and procedurally, according to the filing. The deeply troubling allegations against the defendants by multiple women speak for themselves. Um, the ridiculous claim that he, uh, that the photos are somehow uh, fake and the law at issue is unconstitutional unconstitutional are nothing more than desperate attempts to conjure a defense where none exists. Douglas Wigdor, Jane Doe's lawyer, said in response to the filing. Uh, People has reached out to Diddy, um, his rep, for comment. I don't believe they've received a response. Pierre filed his own response on Tuesday and said he never anticipated or he never participated in the assault, as assault of the plaintiff, nor did he ever witness anyone else um, assaulting the plaintiff, according to the documents obtained by People. Meanwhile, Bad Boy Entertainment, Combs Company, also responded with a motion to dismiss. Jane Doe filed the lawsuit in December and accused Combs, Pierre, and the third assailant of S-trafficking and gang RAPE. In the filing obtained by People, Jane Doe claimed that Pierre approached her at a lounge in Michigan and convinced her to take a private jet with him and a third assailant to Combs Recording Studio in New York City. When she arrived, she alleged she was given drugs and alcohol before being viciously gang -ard, one mm -hmm. after the other, the lawsuit claimed. Combs issued a blanket denial of the allegations in a statement to people in December. Enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy, he said. The mogul added, 
sickening allegations have made um, have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Jane Doe is the fourth person to accuse Combs of assault over the past several months. In November, Combs was accused of assault by a third woman in a lawsuit filed to New York County Supreme Court. In documents obtained by people, another Jane Doe alleged that Combs and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall took turns ring her and a friend in New York City more than 30 years ago. Additionally, Diddy and Cassandra Cassie Ventura reached a settlement just one day after the singer filed a lawsuit against him for allegations of R-word as trafficking and domestic violence in November. Pierre also faced his own set of allegations in November, having been accused of grooming, uh, S harassment, and S assault by a former assistant. Sheesh. Honestly, I hadn't even known anything about the Pierre person all that much. I hadn't heard much about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what do we think? Man, I just, I don't even know how to say this. I just think that Cassie unleashed, you know, uh, what's a good word for this? Ooh, I don't even know. Um... Open the floodgates. <laughs> the floodgates. It's like yeah. bombs over Baghdad. <laughs> over bad boy entertainment. <laughs> yeah. and I, I'm quoting Outcast here, okay? The song. <laughs> um, just basically, you know, exposed everything. And I think it doesn't help Diddy that he and all these companies settled within 24 hours. Yeah. Which, even though he does deny any wrongdoing to us right it might look otherwise right so you know yeah. all these you know girls coming with uh coming with these allegations and you know proceeding with court filings and things like that and some of them even have proof i think it's just hard to yeah. dismiss yeah some of these things we know the 90s were crazy we've seen some of the photographs We've seen, you know, the Me Too movement and a lot of women coming forward. So, you know, I think it's great that women are speaking up and, you know, defending themselves, saying their truths, you know, holding these people accountable who did hurt them. Yeah. And I just feel like since there's so many people accusing, that there has to be some truth in it. That is as political as I can get without <laughs> being like... You know, yeah. I don't yeah. want nobody coming to sue us or anything. Right. But, you know, the math is math in a little or a lot of. So yeah. what do you think? Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, in this country, our judicial system states that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. But the court of public opinion back in November made a decision and it has not changed its mind. And that decision was not in favor of Diddy. And I think that's why, you know, he's kept such a low profile. It's not blowing over the way I guess he maybe thought it would. Um, and with these sorts of articles, it's only going to continue to bring more and more attention to him that obviously he doesn't want. And I don't know. I feel like even once he has his day in court, if he has his day in court, because there's still a chance that they can settle. But even if he has a day, his day in court, like there's already, I would say like a tainted aspect to, to him, to his legacy. Um, even if he, let's say gets vindicated, same thing. It's going to still be like, you know, that sort of mark, because at the end of the day, people are going to continue to remember that he settled with Cassie within 24 hours. And you don't do that and think that people are going to believe you're fully innocent. You know, like like the, like I said, the court of public opinion, it is a very vicious, it's a very vicious thing. Unfortunately, there's no way around it, right? Like people are going to have these thoughts, have these assumptions, whether you did something or you did not do something. So anyway, I don't know, like... <laughs> 
I, I don't, I feel like I want to hold any real judgment or thoughts as far as the, the Jane Doe and all of these filings because, because everything's still ongoing. Um, and so, you know, once the actual trial takes place, then it'll be like, okay, we can, we can see like the full picture, right? The, the real evidence and all that stuff, whatever actually gets accepted as evidence. Um, and then, you know, who knows, like, what if he decides to get on the stand? I would advise against that, but I'm not a lawyer, so I can't make those comments, but like, I I would, I would hope he wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, like you said, like, the 90s were a crazy time, but that does not excuse doing any of those things. You know, it's like, I get it. Um, things can can be perceived one way, but it's never, never okay to do anything to anyone, woman, man, whomever, um, without their consent. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll hold a little bit of my of my thoughts until I get a better, a better picture of the whole thing. As far but, as the Cassie. But I just want to point out that, you know, I guess case two, three, four, and I think there's a, a fifth one, or maybe it can stop at four. It's a lot of the allegations or, you know, things that Cassie put in her lawsuit. Yeah. So it's a lot of the similar things. So one right. can say, Let's just add the dots, you know? Yeah. But on a more, uh, I don't know if this is a lighter note or a petty note, um, what's Diddy's net worth now? Because it was a billion. Sure. And, and I'm sure his net worth took a tumble. Yeah. Uh, we know that uh, a lot of people have dropped him from like different yeah. kinds of partnerships and boards and you know, whatever Diddy represented. So he's taking a hard hit. Yeah. And my last comment was, we had to find this article. Where, where's TMZ? TMZ knows, you know, that I haven't cleaned outside, you know, as of three days ago. So <laughs> where, where are they now? Like TMZ yeah. hasn't reported on it. E! News hasn't reported on it. Any other news network hasn't reported on it. So is Diddy paying the blogs not to, you know, publicize his information because he's already taken such a hit? I'm just wondering. And I, this is a recent article too. It's not something that's old. Yeah, I saw it was from a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. So so you would think that because it was from a couple of days ago, it would have already been in the blogs and the social media sites that report on these kind of things. And yeah. we haven't seen it. And if they were, it was released very silently because normally that goes in, in my feed for this publication, that publication, all these other, you know, pages. So um, sure. there, there are, there have been rumors um, in the past uh, on TikTok. So of course, you know, take this all with a grain of salt, but there were rumors before that Diddy, along with other people in the industry, um, were basically doing something or had done something to ensure that like minority publications like the shade room like you know ball alert and, and all these different other um uh more black and brown centered media wouldn't and BET I believe which is a bigger one but like and BET wouldn't comment negatively I don't know how true that is there was there was a, a couple of videos, one of which was a person that supposedly allegedly used to work at one of these networks, one of these publications, and stated that they were provided a list of people that they could not negatively talk about. So I don't know if that's the case. I don't really think that that would be helpful at all. If Diddy wants to clear his name, then why would you pay anybody to not report on this you you are presenting a filing where you're denying you know these things so why not have it publicized so it's it's a very interesting i guess like situation and yeah. it was it was pretty surprising to me when you sent it to me i thought it was something released today and then i see the date on the byline is from a couple of days ago i'm like what i hadn't seen this i hadn't heard anything about this mm -hmm. so yeah it's strange
And we know when Cassie dropped the bomb, basically. Girl. We got texts from friends. We got all the <laughs> alerts, like back to back to back. We couldn't even sleep that day because we were in such disbelief. And we so, were all the way in Switzerland. Exactly. And then we got this info. So yeah. now we're like radio silent. If I were saying the truth, I'm not saying that Diddy isn't, I would bombard the media. Yeah. Saying this is not true, this is not true, this is not true, this is what I'm doing. You know, like, yeah. But we're, I don't know. It's, you know, what's also interesting going towards all of that and, and speaking about TMZ, they have people dedicated to going through court filings, going through like documents. How do we, how is it that we find out, oh, such and such celebrity filed for divorce and they haven't made an announcement, but here goes TMZ breaking the news. Yeah. They have people that scour court filings, that scour publications, like even um, the social media accounts of like these attorneys, of employees, like they find out, they, they find out dirt, they find out whatever they need to find out. And so for this to be something that we didn't really hear about. It's a little. They suspect. know when you defriended someone. So oh why gosh. didn't you tell me? Yeah, this new Diddy thing. I am yeah. upset. Okay, you're right. You're right. But that just goes to show you that we don't rely on social media. We look for articles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please let us know what you think in the comments. What do you think about this whole Diddy situation? You know, it's been like, what, three months already? Like a whole quarter? Yeah. No, like, yeah, three, 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 almost three, three and a half. Yeah, three, four months. Like, yeah. where is Cassie? She's been a little MIA, yo, but she's having a comeback tour. Those are the rumors. Um, let us know what you think about this case. If you have more information, let us know in the comments so we can, you know, talk about it on our next Diddy episode, basically. Yeah. Um, this is all very, very crazy. But mm -hmm. that concludes today's video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, please share our video. We're trying to grow our community so your friends can be our friends and we can all be friends. We also have social media, which Steve will tell you about. We are on TikTok and Instagram um, at Hear Me Out DNE. So make sure you guys like, follow, share our videos, and comment. We enjoy interacting with you guys. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye bye.